the Magnus is ultra with this one. Hey, what's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Kingdom Leader Class Ultra Magnus. So here we are. And there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Up front, we have some lovely, lovely artwork of Magnus in his robot mode, in his alt mode, Kingdom, or for Cybertron Trilogy, Transformers. On the side of the box, we have the lovely Kingdom artwork. Back on this side, he is a leader class, class leader, leader class, and a class A leader up top. Autobot symbol on the bottom, words and things on the back of the box. You have your obligatory product shots, this, that, the other. And that's basically it for the packaging. Also included is the card slash sticker, and I got Optimus Prime again. And we peel up the sticker, and we have Optimus Prime again. Hooray for stickers and cards. And moving right along, here we have Ultra Magnus, and here he is in his alt mode. A more G1-y, more earthy alt mode than his Siege version. And let's get in close here so we can take a look at the detail. Right up front here you can see the more traditional kind of earth mode cab going on. Got a nice dark blue transparent plastic there for the windshield, got a gunmetal gray there for the front grille and some gunmetal gray trim there. Autobot symbol right there. And you got the rims done in that gunmetal gray as well. And you do have visible hand syndrome. That's what my, my one complaint about this alt mode is I wish the hands flipped in. I just wish you could flip in the hands so you don't see them. I mean, granted, you can kind of, if you kind of turn the hands in like this, you, you know, they won't be as visible, but they're still visible. But, it, you know, maybe hide them a little bit better if you do that instead of just having the hands just staring at you. You know, either way, I still wish you could just kind of flip in the hands, but no, well. It is what it is, but you got the uh, little missile launchers there. They don't fire, they're just a single piece, but you see some nice detail going down the side here. And lots of detail going on. And there you have the back with the red, some more of that gunmetal gray. Got some little toesies sticking out, all pointed in. And there is the top. There is the bottom. He rolls loudly, as rolling things should. Hooray for loud rolling things. And for comparison, here he is with Studio Series Hot Rod. With Studio Series Cup. With Earthrise Leader Prime. You can see how that works out. And here he is with the Siege Ultra Magnus. Now, keep in mind, I had the DNA kit on mine, so he looks a little bit different than, uh, than stock, but just you can kind of get a sense here of what's going on. Who's who, what's what, where's where. One cool thing is that they did remold all these side panels here. Um, these, these two center sections, they look very similar, but they are different molds slightly, but they are different molds. So all of these panels are different molds. Um, obviously the cabs are very different. Um, the shoulder launches are different. Um, you got different wheels. You know, they have their similarities, but they also have their differences. Um, and they also connect at different points, um, like the Siege version, uh, the cab connects in this panel here, the second panel, while the Kingdom version actually connects on the, uh, the first panel here. So the Kingdom Magnus actually extends a bit further. Let me see if I can get a good shot of this. You can kind of see here the Kingdom version does extend a bit further. You can't really tell from this angle. Let me do it this way. There you go. You can see that gives the Kingdom version a little extra length there. But yeah. So there you have 
that. Oh, and if anybody is wondering, yes, you can switch the cabs between the two. It's not gonna be all that drastic a difference. It's just gonna be a cab on a slightly different trailer with wheels that don't match. That's gonna be the only difference really, it's, you know. But you can switch the cabs between the two trailers if you want to, why you would want to, I don't know, but hey, it's a thing you can do if you wanna do it. Now, as far as accessories go, you do get, yeah, the, uh, the missile launchers here. You can see they're done in a more simplistic G1E style as opposed to the uh, the Siege versions. You can see these are done in a much brighter white as opposed to the off-white the Siege version offered. You also get a better post here for more efficient blushing, which I also very much appreciate. But of course they attach right there where they should. Now the instructions tell you to plug these missile launchers back here. And you can do that if you want to. I mean, you know, I always say it's your toy, display it however you wish. But if you display it this way, you're wrong. You're just wrong. It's just wrong. Don't do that. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be up here. Magnus's missile launch is supposed to be right up front like that. That's the right way. The only way. Don't at me. You know. <laughs> Do what you want, I don't care, I'm just saying, I'm just messing, I'm just messing, but anyway. You got that, and you also get his gun, which as you can see, is the exact same gun that came with the Siege version. The only difference is the Siege version is done in silver, this is done in a gunmetal gray. But otherwise, there's the exact same mold, and if you want to, you can plug it right up front. If you wish and have that going on there's also a port back here i'm gonna have it hanging out the back if you want to as well hey as always it's yours display it however you wish and um, there's no real room for any other vehicles in here there's not a whole lot of real estate maybe you can get that uh maybe that uh the, the small uh buzzworthy bumblebee maybe you can kind of wedge in there somewhere he'll probably fall right out because i mean there's no real you know floor to this but uh you know it does also kind of have visible hair syndrome it is right there you can say it just kind of hanging out in there but, yeah but uh yeah that is basically it for the alt mode so let's get down to transformation shall we <laughs> that was a big spin so let us remove the weapons remove all the accoutrement Put this off to the side and we shall commence. So the first thing we need to do is just uh, detach the trailer here from the cab. So just take this red section, lift this up. And you're just going to undo these clips right here, like so. There's also a tab and slot connection right there you have to undo. So just undo that, unclip all that. And there you go. You see your shoulder stacks are connected right back there. Just Remove that, put that off the side, and here we have the bear cab. So what we're going to do here is, we're going to start with the legs. You just want to untab that section here, bring the leg out, because there's a little tab that goes into the hip right there. Bring it down, bring it down, flip out the heel, flip out the heel, and there you have the lower body all done. Then we move on to the upper body. And you just grab his arms, just bring them out. You don't want to secure them in place yet, you just want to bring them out, get them out of the way, like so. Then you want to take this whole section and rotate it around. You can open this up, flip out the head, close that back up, and now we can secure the arms. Let's clip in on either side there. Rotate the fists. So everything is oriented properly. Take this section here, just slide that up, and then slide this upper torso back until it clicks into place. And there you go. There you have what I like to call Albino Prime. And he's just a chunky, boxy Albino Prime, but we love him. We love him. Let's get in close here so we can take a look at the noggin. Let's see, red there for the eyes, got some that gumball gray there for that crest. Nice blue there. 
for the mouth plates and his big old boxy chest. Autobot symbol there on the shoulder. It's a whole lot of weight. Whole lot of weight going on. With the back, it's got a little backpack going on there. And that's pretty much it. Articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint. You got your wiggly waggly. You can look up a little bit, a little bit. Head can do a full 360. Arms can do a full 360. Can move in and out. Got your bicep rotation. 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. You got your wrist rotation. You got your waist rotation. Legs can move forward that far. Back that far. Outward. You can pretty much do the full splits. You got your thigh rotation. You got slightly under 90 degrees of bend at the knee and the feet. They can't move up or down, but you do have a little bit of ankle tiltage and you can kind of move the heel spur down if you need it for supports. And for a quick comparison here, here he is with the Siege Albino Prime. Again, mine has a DNA kit on it, so his legs are a little bit different looking, but you can still see what they changed and what they pretty much kept the same. Let's give it a turn around here. Just so you can see what's going on. And again, you get that more, more of that off-white here as opposed to the bright whites of the Kingdom version. So, there you go. But that is basically it for Albino Prime. So now let's get him all magnus up. So we gotta do a little bit of prep work here. We need to uh, flip in the heel spurs. We need to undo the arms here. We need to flip this section down and we need to shift the section forward so we can open this up, flip in the head, close it back up, secure all that back into place. You want to bring the section down to form the Magnus booty. And you can just push that back, snap it into place, rotate this around, bring this up to make the Magnus crotch. And he is ready to go. So now we're going to bring in the trailer and we're just going to start ripping all of this apart. So just want to undo these side sections here. They connect right here and right up here. Just undo all that. Let's hold in very securely also. Let go, release, release. There we go. Now you just want to split these sections here and just untap this. See it tabs in right there and then just slides into that groove. Just pull that out, put that off to the side for now. And as far as all this goes, you're just going to flip this panel in and then flip these panels in and then just collapse all this up. And that will just tab in right there to make a leg, second last, just like the first. Put that in, put that in, bring all this around, tab that in, and there we go. We got the Magnus legs, and we just slide them right on. Slide them right on, there you go. He has his Magnus legs. And now we will come to this section here, we'll pull off. The forearm pieces, they just plug onto those posts and they just open up and slide on to the, oops, wrong side, this side, this way. Slide them on, close it up, open that up, slide it on, close it up, and there you have the Magnus forearms. And then we just slide these two pieces apart. Let's raise these great pieces up, and these will, let me raise up, these will slide onto the shoulders, and you come up, and you clip those into place, and now he has the Magnus shoulders, now we bring in the main bit here, this flips in, this flips under, and you just clip this, onto this rail here, like so. And this comes up and over, and you have these two tabs, which will go into these two slots right here to secure all that into place. Get that lined up, push it on. And we're almost done. We gotta add the final touch, which is the shoulder launchers. 
plug those in, plug it in, plug it in. And there we go, there we have Ultra Magnus in his robot mode. And he's a good looking G1E Magnus. I likes, I likes very much. So let's get in close here so we can take a look. Nice chest at his noggin, there's the noggin. I can tell you it's a nice Magnusy noggin here. Get the light in there. Get to the face, done that gunmetal gray. Get the nice blue there for the eyes. Gunmetal gray there for his uh, for his horns. They got the transparent plastic there in the chest. They got the nice red. Oh no, pretty nicely done the paintwork on the end little this little crotch section here is a little sloppy a little, little bit of like overspray but not too shabby not too shabby there's big old legs there's big old feet move up the back you know he's got the uh, he's got the magnus booty going on there but all in all not too bad and now articulation wires the head it's on a ball joint, you get a little bit, very, very slight wiggly waggly. He can look up a little bit, look down, head can do a full 360. Arms can do a full 360. They can move in and out, so the armor doesn't really hinder any articulation there. You got your bicep rotation. Again, you got a little bit under 90 degrees. It does kind of get in the way a little bit. So you get only slightly under. 90 degrees have been there. The wrist can still rotate. The waist can still rotate. Legs. Can still go forward that far. Can still go back that far. Outward. You can still pretty much do the full splits. You still have your thigh rotation. Um, you still get your under 90 degrees of bend there at the knee, but there's a lot of stuff back there. So a lot of stuff just starts, you know, kind of colliding. So you're going to have a bit of problem there. And you do have a lot of ankle tiltage. And of course we can give him his weapon here. So you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang, and all of that good stuff. And of course he is bluish compatible. That's right, of course he is. So we can bring in Siege Jetfire's effects parts. He does have some uh, some bluish points. You can uh, plug one on here, have him get bluish in the shin. That one doesn't hold on too well. There we go, you can get bluish, you can get bluish in the shin. You can plug these on the ports under his feet so you can bluish off into space. And of course you have ports here for your you know weaponizers and whatnot. Ports back there. And he does have for uh, post here on his shoulder so you can get bluish in the shoulder because hey why not there I say why not but of course you can plug these onto the shoulder launchers and I love that they have longer posts in the siege version so the blushes hold on very well and we can plug one into his gun like so and we can do a big old triple Magnus Bloosh! He can deal with that. He can deal with that, actually. He can totally, he can totally deal with that, but. All right, so there you have that. And now for Jump Our Sun. Here he is with uh, Studio Series, Hot Rod, and Cup. Here he is with RC and Blur. With Jazz and Prime. With Scourge and Cyclonus. And here he is with Grimlock. And here he is with Springer. And last but not least, here he is with the Siege Magnus. And um, again, I have the DNA kit on mine, which makes him taller, but you can still get a good idea here of the similarities and the differences between the molds. 
Give it a turn around here. We got different Magnus booties. But there you have that. Now, as far as swapping the armor, yes, you can swap the armor between the two. I'm not going to do it all because it's really not that drastic a difference. But um, one thing to note is if you use the uh, the kingdom uh, chest piece on the siege version, um, yes, it'll it'll clip on. It'll all clip on the same way, but when you go to plug on the chest piece, um, the tabs won't line up because the tabs on this chest piece were in a totally different spot than they are here. So the tabs will end up sitting like right below this ridge here. So it won't tab in, but yes, you can put it on if you want to because reasons, but hey, you know, it, again, it's not gonna be that drastic a difference, but again, things you can do if you wanna do it. So there you have Ultra Magnus, and yeah, you know, he's a more G1-y Magnus, uh, you know, gives him the Earth mode as opposed to the uh, Siege version with the Cybertronium mode, so, you know, hey, if you like the, uh, the Siege Magnus, you'll probably like this, if you didn't like the Siege Magnus, you probably won't like this, unless you lean more towards G1 or Cybertronium look, that's totally up to you and your personal preferences, but, um, all in all, it's a solid figure. It, it works nicely, uh, it's fun to mess with. My only real complaint is just in vehicle mode, I just wish the hands folded away so they're not just sticking out, but that's my only real complaint. Otherwise, very cool figure, so. There you go! And now if you would like this or any other Kingdom figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Kingdom playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out Endgames. Check out Love, Peace, Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Kingdom Leader Class Ultra Magnus. And this is Emgo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Boom in your face! I can't deal with that right now, Hot Rod. Oh, can't deal with it or won't deal with it? Look, I get that this is important to you, but Cup losing his arms is none of my concern right now. He asked me to shoot him. Can you please just explain to him that it's not my fault? I wasn't there, so I don't know. Will you two please shut up and fix me?